we're going to look at three different countries and see how banking works differently in each of those three countries. We'll start in Argentina, buying pesos off the street and seeing some of the long lines at banks there. Then we'll move on to Peru and take a look at how they handled international finance and banking. And lastly, we'll end in Panama, where they have a unique system of banking. No, there's a guy here selling um, cambio for money. Uh, Quanto por dollars? Quanto pesos por dollars? Dollar? Si, quanto? Cinco, pesos. Cinco, cinco cincuenta. Cinco cincuenta. Okay, yeah, just get a line at the at the bank for exchange. Look at that. That way. And they're That's in, the way we find out time. Taxes, just, they're, they're lined up to pay taxes? Oh, so yes. Yeah. yeah. They're going to, uh, and going to the bank and see. I'm not going to there to, to pay this. I'll pay it through home banking. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of wasted time, yeah. uh, wasted productivity if they're in yeah. line. If you add all the time that we are spending yeah. there. Rapi Pagado? Rapi Pagado. It's not Pago. Rapi Pago. That is uh, another cashiers uh, of uh, banks. Okay. You have to be connected to oh. the internet with the si. bank. Maybe okay. From Buenos Aires or any other bank in here. And they get... Uh, si. Now, this bank doesn't look so crowded. Oh, for credit cards. Oh. So the credit card place is not crowded. No. So. It is crowded today. You have to pay the credit card bill? Yeah. Oh, okay. So they're still paying in person and wasting their day. Okay, here in Puno, Peru, you see that uh, you can do your dollar exchange. Look at that difference in price dollars, 3.22 to buy and 3.24 to sell. So they're not making a big difference, just pennies on uh, each transaction, times hundreds, of course, if you exchange hundreds. But that's how that works. You're buying dollars on the open market or buying, in this case, uh, Peruvian soles. Okay. Um, and then, uh, I think I'll go, um, I don't know if this is allow me to do more, I wonder. D probably not. I'll just take the four fifty. Okay. Um, you can pause that right now if you want to. Okay. Okay. Come you this know, way. So what's interesting about um, this year is you can get out uh, uh, Peruvian soles or you can get out U.S. dollars. Most ATMs only give out the money in their local currency. Um, so this is kind of unique for me. I've traveled about 40 countries, never seen this before, where you can get two different uh, countries worth of uh, money. And uh, that's important because... Uh, the U.S. dollar is so crucial to this economy here, uh, which kind of shows that. But um, anyway, they, so we've been, you know, small transactions, we're using uh, Peruvian souls, but uh, for the large transactions, like maybe a, a taxi ride to this town, we're going to pay uh, U.S. dollars for that. Anyway, uh, there is one other country that uh, when you go in and you can get it at, in the ATM, you can get U.S. dollars, even though they're not the uh, United States. But in order to do that, we got to go to Panama to find out more about them. As I was saying, here in uh, Panama City, um, if you can look way over there and see the, uh, what's the name of that bank over there? Metro Bank? I know they got, it's Metro Bank over there. I know they got Scotia Bank around here as well, which uh, we said is a Canadian bank. But uh, what they don't have here in Panama City is a central bank in the, in the country of Panama. They don't have it. 
all they have are just banks that come in here and, and uh, give out money. Of course, the money they're giving out is U.S. dollars. That makes a big difference. Uh, there's no conversion. There's no concern about the International Monetary Fund and all those kinds of things that other countries have here. They, they just use the U.S. dollar as their own currency. So banks come in here and they, and they loan out money and everybody's paid in, uh, uh, in U.S. dollars. I bought uh, some empanadas off a street vendor this morning for 75 cents a piece and, uh, and a cup of coffee for 75 cents. It's a very small cup. And so <clears throat> the economy uh, doesn't have to deal with that conversion. They don't have to deal with that hyperinflation. They don't have to deal with the, uh, uh, the government controlling the money supply. It's controlled by foreign, but uh, the Panamanians don't have to worry about a, a, a strongman dictator. And, and you know, again, this Central America being the kind of the banana republics they call them. So they don't need to worry about that. The uh, uh, loans are made in U.S. dollars, and loans are paid back in U.S. dollars, and everybody earns U.S. dollars. So there's not the same kind of concern that you have in other countries like Peru or um, Argentina and all that kind of stuff. They've got uh, much more bigger issues there because their central banks often print more money than they need to.